I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person. Eight of Pentacles. And it's with the Ace of Cups. Okay, so. The Eight of, eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. You could feel like you've got a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is important. But, if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So you have to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance because no one can or should work all the time. Now this Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very hard work period. Now this does not have to be negative. But you do have to be prepared for it. Eight of Pentacles is with the Ace of Cups, which is a very powerful, positive card. In the tarot, it relates to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it is about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can... In It can indicate new beginnings of other areas in your life. So, things are looking up with the Ace of Cups. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually. So, you should be feeling really good about life overall. It's also a great time to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, I'm kidding. That, um, because this Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Cups, I'm getting that, um, for the recent past energy between you and your person, yeah, your person was very motivated and inspired. by you to work really hard on the connection. This person probably had a lot of passion for you. They wanted to um, make sure that the connection made it. And because the Ace of Cups is clarified with this Eight of Pentacles, there was deep attraction and a lot of warmth. Yeah. A lot of warmth here. And I'm getting that it's it was on both ends. Um, yeah, it felt like a really happy relationship. You were dealing with someone that really wanted to master the connect master a connection with you. They enjoyed being with you. And they wanted to work hard just to make sure that it made it. They were willing to do this. Let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Knight of Cups. And it's with the Three of Swords. Now the Knight of Cups is optimistic. Good card to see in your reading. This one actually comes with messages. So someone could be reaching out to you or texting you. Someone has something to say. With the Nine of Cups, it's the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. It tells you that things are going well. You're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. That's how the Nine of Cups is. This card, it does mean good news, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. 
So some type of someone is rushing in. Someone's coming your way. Now it's with this ugly three of swords. The three of swords. With this card, there's an element of sorrow, but what's undeniable? When you get this card. Well, the th put it this way. The Three of Swords is an element of sorrow that, that is undeniable. Yeah. You can't run from it. It's there with the Three of Swords. But what's on the other side of this sadness or sorrow? It can be... It can be some type of understanding and joy. So allow yourself to ex to fully experience any pain or s sorrow that comes up. And you want to do this so you can move past it. You know, you don't want to stay stuck there. So embrace it so that you can get over it. The Three of Swords it can also point to maybe a deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on because if you deny the pain, it will not make it go away. So, like I said, allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, only you can decide how long is long enough. And others will not be able to do this for you. So coming up for you and your person. Aries. Nine of Cups clarified by this Three of Swords. So I don't know if you and your person had a big fallout or a fight. But they feel that you're closing yourself off. With this Three of Swords here, you're feeling that you could be hurt by something that they said or something that they did. Yeah, they they feel it. So they come rushing in. Yeah, your person wants to make it right. They come rushing in like the Knight of Cups, being romantic and sensitive. They want to fix it. You got somebody that really, really um, cares about you, Aries. Yeah. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Five of Swords ends with the Nine of Pentacles. Now the Five of Swords, you could find you've got some mixed feelings. It could be about life or maybe a person or a few people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel like you have to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either. As you could ruin the things that you want the most, such as close intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So you're going to have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. It's about picking your battles. Yeah. The Five of Swords, it's, it's with this Nine of Pentacles. Now the Nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries are over for a while and that things will be going better than you thought possible. So enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth, share your happiness with others. So yeah, the challenge for you and your person, Five of Swords, clarified by this Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this Five of Swords, like I said, it's about having some mixed feelings. Yeah, it's about being mad. And it's about conflict. Because if you take a look at the picture, if you take a look at the picture of the Five of Swords, it's the card above the word challenge. You see this man, he's running around, and he's got two swords in his hand. He's got three on the ground. He'll pick them up and use them if he has to. 
there were actually people sitting there where this fire, where you see this fire, campfire. But when they got a glimpse of him, they all screamed, they all ran. And the wolves or the dogs that are in front of them, they're about to run and scram also. Yeah, this person is really pissed. So, like I said, your person, they come rushing in to fix things. They see you're offended or you're hurt by something they said or did. They, they feel that you're closing them, you're closing yourself off with the Three of Swords. They feel that you, you are about to shut them out. So, with the Five of Swords, it, it's showing conflict. It's showing that you two could have a fight. <laughs> yeah, it's showing you're still mad. Maybe they're mad because now there's a big fight. But with the Nine of Pentacles here, it turns around for the better. Things take a turn for the better. So it was probably a fight that needed to be. It needed to happen. So it looks like the Nine of Pentacles, everything is all good. <laughs> yeah, with the fight. And I guess you guys, you you had a fight. Now you you're kissing and you're making up with the Nine of Pentacles, because the Nine of Pentacles is like, what fight? What who's hurt? What just happened? I mean, it's like things just turn around for the better. Nine of Pentacles is beautiful takes a turn for the better so probably just a lover's quarrel and you get over it and that's what it looks like is happening for the challenge but let's move on over let's take a look and see what the outcome is so we got the king of wands and it's with the sun card now the king of wands it can indicate a man who would have hair on the lighter end of the, of the spectrum but it could go either way. This person could want to serve as a mentor for you. King of Wands is positive. Even when he does not represent an actual person in your life. It can signify that there are men around you. Who are supportive of you. And they think well of you. So you should be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and have the will to accomplish whatever you have in your mind. Now, it's with the Sun card. The Sun card, things are likely to be going well. However, your finances, they are in good shape when you get this card. But this doesn't mean you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not high on that list for some of you. And for some of you it is. With the Sun card, it's a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job when you get the Sun card, it signifies it's right around the corner. So your outcome, Aries, King of Wands, clarified by the Sun. So yeah. The outcome is actually beautiful. It, it, I'm getting for a lot of you, the relationship gets stronger. You realize that your person really cares a lot about you. Like I said, they come rushing in to fix things. You guys have a lover's quarrel. Some type of spat or some conflict. And th things turn around right away. You have the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, the outcome, you realize that your person cares a lot about you. And that um, they realize that you're the one that makes them really happy. You add a lot of sunshine to their life. So that is the reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading.
I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Please come back and join me for the next Aries reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles. The roles can be switched. They can be reversed. You could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker. It could even be a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day. Happy holidays. And take care.